Hey guys, Ninja Punch here, playing Pikmin 4 as we continue on. Last episode, we finished 100% of the Blossoming Arcadia. So next up is the Nocturnal or Night Expedition. Super excited. Before we start, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on this channel and of this series. It really is amazing how much you guys have watched and liked and everything else. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like the videos, share that thumbs up button. But, let's get right into the uh, night expeditions. Well, hello there, new blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around here. Uh, since we'll be working together, you can just call me Yanni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need to get out there on some night expeditions for me. I want you to harvest extracts from the luminols that I can use as medicinal ingredients. It's only uh, possible at night. I could go on, but you should just get it yourself. Let me know when you're ready for a nighttime expedition. Uh, I'm ready for it. I think, I I don't think I'm ready for it. Uh, these areas have been approved for night expeditions. All right, so some speckled tears. So I can do it. Can I bump up the danger? <laughs> Is this more exciting than heading out in the dark night, huh? Alright, so I can do the Sun Speckled uh, Terrace Ancient Arches uh, Night Expedition. Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a bit. Alright, this is exciting. This is new because you've never gotten a chance to actually go out during nighttime in Pikmin that I know of. Uh, or at least for Pikmin 3, so this is super exciting. I'm kind of curious how exactly how much more dangerous it's going to be because all the creatures do come in at night. And as always, every single time, every single episode, I hate how long the loading screens are. I have to say that at least once an episode. But Sun Speckled Terrace, Ancient Arches, Danger Level, only one flame. So I'm kind of... I don't know. If you defeat all the creatures or protect the Luminal until morning, you can harvest the glow sap you need to cure leaflings. So I gotta protect everything? So I see the, Lum I, I see the Luminal... I'm assuming it's those mounds. Uh, it says I can kill creatures too. And boy, are there a lot of them. I wonder if this is going to be like a 100% kind of thing. Or if... I'm, I'm kind of curious here. Uh, do I have the SS Beagle with me? Or is that a Luminol? Oh, that is. Oh, wow. There it is. New blood. That's it. Uh, that is a Luminol. Okay. When draw, dawn breaks, it will release one extract I'll use to make the, that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? Uh huh. Sure. What is that thing? What is that? Well, well now. What's this? I don't know what that is. These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. What? Very interesting. Whoa. Alright, look at that. It pro uh, propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? New blood. Very cool. A glow Pikmin. Oh, I'm, I'm about it. Yep, these little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. It does indeed. I'm excited about those. I like them a lot. They look so cool. They're kind of shy though. Hello, little guy. Oh God, they're not shy. Oh God. <laughs> oh, she likes them though. They're rather fond of you, new blood. That's perfect. You and these little guys can protect the lumen all together. Uh, that star-shaped fragment from earlier. Let's call it glow pellet. Try carrying those to the Luminol to see if we can pro uh, propagate more glow Pikmin. I leave it to you then. Alright, so a lot of information. Uh, so are these what I'm thinking they are? So do it, does that mean? Alright, so. All right. Oh, they're gonna pop a bunch out at me. Uh, now, what is that thing? I don't know what that thing is. But I'm assuming I can just go ahead and and kind of do one of these and keep kind of... I got 16 so far. Uh, protect the Luminol, New Blood. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so the creatures naturally come to me. It's about time, New Blood. Whoa, what the... F 
Alright, see how the creatures become more aggressive at night. They're drawn here by the irresistible glow. Watch out now. They come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. Alright, so this is... Oh, man. Uh, they're heading this way. And I'm, like, literally on the other side of the map. Alright, for now, click glow pellets and uh, propagate more glow pippin to build up your protective forces. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Uh, okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Ninja Punch. Good luck. Alright. I'm gonna, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, so here's my interesting theories. Can I leave them here? No, they naturally come to me. Okay. Very well. I don't see any creatures in the in the in the area as of right now. But now I see the glowing coming towards me. So okay, so that kind of makes it. A little bit easier to kind of figure out so they're actually coming like right now but do they give me any anything either they do not so I'm kind of interesting All right, we'll just do one of those now I see more over there so I'm kind of curious how often do I really have to kind of... I see two all the way over there, so I'm not worried about them for now. I, I want to get as many of these as I can. What's that? Whoa, what did I just do? Is it a new base? Ah, glow pellets can be carried here too from the looks of it. This could be a juvenile form of aluminol. Uh, let's see. Uh, if that's the case, then it's possible... To this can be connected to the normal below ground. Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point when transferring glow pellets from far away. Uh, additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to help keep the luminol safe. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a trick null? Okay, good thinking. Try using it as a decoy and interim drop point. Okay, so it kind of has two fun main functions. So those guys are still going to the main one, but these guys over here are going to this one so that's oh god so that's okay I don't mind that at all I just kind of want to make sure I, I I like kill everything but it's getting a little f oh god it one got there oh we got a problem blue mall is under attack if it takes so much damage we won't get the medicine we need get rid of those creatures new blood Oh, God! Oh, it's going down fast, guys. I might have screwed this up already. Uh, I was not expecting that. Oh, jeez. I thought I had more time. Oh, man. Can this thing get repaired? Oh, goodness. Okay. So, we're safe for now. All the creatures are going to the decoy, which is awesome. Never mind. All right, so that was short-lived. I'm just gonna keep firing, rapid fire in these. Okay, I don't see. I see one all the way over there trying to get after it. Uh, track creatures using your night radar. It's at the bottom of your screen. Oh, so that might have helped me out a little bit more. I thought it was farther away, but that's okay. We're doing we're not doing bad now. We just got one more guy here. Get him. 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 <laughs> oh god, this is going to be rough. Nailed it. Think you think you have enough glow Pikmin? I I think I might, guys. All right, fantastic. There's not a single creature left standing or skittering or hopping. All right, so that was actually pretty. T that was kind of tough. Uh, definitely a little bit more faster pace than usual. Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Nailed it. All right, so the trichinol is definitely the, the main thing we got to get. Uh, this is a condensed luminol extract. It's very high in degradative enzymes. <laughs> I believe we should call it a glow sap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. 
All right, a lot of new terms. I'm probably not going to remember all of them, to be honest. Oh, all right, look, the Glow Pikmin have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? I hope so. Whoa. Very cool. Uh, my, my, what's this? Glow Pikmin turned into seeds. I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. They're my friends. <laughs> I'm not going to leave my friends behind. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Alright, so that wasn't... That wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be like a lot longer and a lot worse. But, I mean, it did get tricky. It got a little hairy. Because I thought the other way to the to the luminol was a little bit longer, so I thought I had more time. But the trick null, I think, is the key to kind of making sure all the creatures go to there first. And I'm assuming it's only going to get harder. So let's see. Let's see what everybody has to say. All right, harvest successful. Twenty five out of twenty five creatures destroyed in the ancient arches. Uh, what a fruitful harvest from one glow sap. I can make exactly one cure. Oh, okay. Uh, pup drive. I got another pup drive. I collected eight seeds. I don't know what that's going to do for us exactly yet. Uh, so, how was your first venture onto the planet at night? Fun. I thought it was fun. A little terrifying though, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna lie to him and say it's fun. <laughs> good, good. Oh, what a surprise though. You met you met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin before myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to your new blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminols after all. Though I'm not sure you got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminols for you to retrieve glow sap from until you are. Uh huh. I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep going, keeping on, keeping on. Uh, I want to see what the luminol. I want to see if that's our pilot. I want to see if that's Bernard. Because we have how many is that? One, two, three, four. So we have five leaflings, which means I need to do five missions. Here we go. Here's the, here it is. All right, right. Administer cure at once. Yes, Captain. Here we go. Beautiful sounds. Who's that? Is that the captain? Is that Bernard? It's Dash. Okay, he's known for saying you can always find me in the pits. He'll take the leap into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. He's a professional splunker. That's pretty cool. Uh, our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect only who we rescue and hear what they have to say. Alright, so that was our first nighttime thing. Uh, let's talk to you. Do you have anything good to say? Okay, Tenderfoot, let's see what you're made of. Eh? Don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work. Check out every inch of this planet until you explore each area 100%. Oh, you think you got this under control? Is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep it. Keep at it and finish the job. So I got two out of three areas 100%, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I didn't realize that some of these question marks do have things, so I feel kind of silly. Uh, let's go ahead and take ten of each. Okay, let's take 20 of each. <laughs> I haven't. I, I actually didn't know you could call Pikmin out here. Let's talk to everybody, though, now. Our rescue corps, is there something who needs rescuing? I don't recall seeing anything. I'm what? Oh, I'm a castaway. Huh. I was so busy looking around at the floor here, I had no idea. See, but you have stuff You have stuff to say. According to Almer's log, an onion, as they call with will fuse with onions of other colors. Extraordinary. For the sake of my research, if you use any onions, please let me know. I have. What? You already made the onion fuse? Okay. So, I guess you get material. If you allow me a moment of selfishness, I hope to see the onion prior to fusing. So, I got three out of four onions. So, that's another mission. 
she doesn't have a question mark anymore. Okay, so maybe there was, maybe I misjudged this, because when I talked to the one person, all they showed me was a treasure book. Uh, hi there, uh, my name's Kingsley, I ran a florist shop back home. I actually came to this plant to find rare flowers and things took a turn. One second I'm gazing at a glorious bud, and the next thing I know, I'm stranded. So yeah, I've heard enough adventure for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much more adventure around here. Uh, do you have another question mark? You do. It's been intense, but I can't just give up completely. I still want to leave this planet more flowery than it was when I got here. That's where you come in. You gotta help me bloom a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. Let's fill this world with blossoms. What's it in for you? Well, do this for me and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal. Alright, so bloom a bunch of Pikmin flowers. I can do that. I wish I did that earlier. Uh, what do you have to say? Uh, are you the one who saved me? You are. Thank you so much. Hey, have you thought it'd be fun to try a different look than your usual? You know, really shake things up. I'll let you in on a little secret. Your friend Puddle here is a stylist. This means I can help you update your look whenever. Uh, update my look. Let's see. Let's see what that is. Uh, you got nothing to fear. Puddle is here. Now I have no idea what you rescued leaflings. I'd love to meet more of them. It's important to be open to new experiences, seeing new sights, meeting new folks. It's inspiring, don't you think? Uh, rescue 10 leaflings. I don't know what that has to do with haircuts. Uh, so I can change my appearance. I don't want to. I feel like I look pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, you're glowing right now. Do you know that? I love it. All right. Let's, uh, okay, let's, uh, I guess we gotta talk to everybody. Why, hello, how are you? The sun's shining, and you know what that means? It means it's a great day for treasure hunting. Alright, ah, you're interested in treasure hunting. I'd love to take a more gander at my pride. Enjoy my treasure collecting. Alas, I lost all my data while I was lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to appraise any treasure you collect? If you do, I shall compile the treasure data and need the treasure catalog. Of course, I'll offer you a road for doing me this favor. All I require is that you keep me posted when you find something. Okay, amazing. Truly incredible. I don't know you already collected so many. Please take a, this as a token of my appreciation. So I get a lot of material. Uh, collect a hundred treasures is the next mission. See, so this is what I when I first talked to him, and this is why I got confused when I, uh, which I call it when I talked to him the first time and I saw the question mark. So I was just like, oh, it just means I can like chit chat with him, or he just wants to show me like a catalog or something. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do the whole. I was going to, and then I was like, okay, whatever. All right, so that's kind of cool. I think I gotta talk to you then for the Piclopedia. Uh, my name is Dalmo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this planet, I know I had to learn more about them. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of every fierce little darling here in some kind of field guide. Okay, view it. Uh, if I hadn't gone strange, I'm gonna imagine how cute little critters I would have to encounter by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them. I haven't laid eyes on a single one. Wait, you must encounter all kind of creatures on your explorations. Please tell me anything about them. Naturally, I prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn more about uh, more of these sweet uh, fur mufflins. Uh, wow, you've done this much already. You're not being underestimated, are you? All right, so I got 20. I got another 20. All right, wonderful. So many cute patooties. You must keep telling me about them. So the next one's at 75. All right, so these are all side missions, and I did get all these guys so far. I'm not even going to look through all that. All right, how could you possibly pull yourself away from the charming creatures? Okay. Uh, so that's everybody over here, I think. I think I saw somebody up here. Wait, no. No. Wait. Stop. There we go. Let's talk to you. Uh, wow, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into dangers like this one in a long time. Well, it's quite precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in caves if I'm alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe thanks to my family's deep pockets. <laughs> very well. Uh, the captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't go explore any caves. Oh, hey, I just had the best idea starting right now. I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore caves around this planet on my behalf. You have to make it through them all the way to the exits. Yes, you know, you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. All right, five caves, ten caves. Is that all I did? Your attitude. That's why you take the caves so enthusiastically. It's like when I first discovered the underground world. So the next one's at 15 caves. I feel like I did more than that. But I guess not. All right. Is that everybody? I think maybe. I think there might be one or two more people up here. My thing is, why can't I take Pikmin now out? That's kind of weird. Let me talk to you. 
Uh, it's such a pleasure to speak with you. I'm Francos, a uh, botany specialist and enthusiast. Are you plant lover too? For years, I've been working on two way communication between plants and well us. I think Pikmin might be the key. All right, let me talk to you again. Uh, kindness, that's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. Who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in the world if everybody could be friend of Pikmin. For the good civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin and help me with this task. It's totally my thanks. All right, so grow 300 Pikmin. Oh, God. That, I, so these ones I don't understand because I can only take so many out at a time. Uh, hi, I'm Mika. You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. I came to this plant to su supervise a student field trip, but it's not going so well. Thank you for my rescuing. Oh, man. Does that mean there's going to be a lot of castaways? I'm sure you're busy, but do you think you can search for the students that came here with me? The uh, Lane Academy's Planetary Science Club only has three students, Shiba, Keisha, and Kaya. Oh. If they aren't found, I don't know how I could ever face their parents. Please, if there's anything we can do to help. So I haven't found any of them yet. So that might be a future. So can I dig this up? Is that why I can have Pikmin? I don't think so. I don't know. But who's this? What's this guy doing? Wait, who are you? Sai. I'm Sai. I like the consumer of his habitat. Ecology and urban own plant have been found. My first thought was unknown plant. It means unknown creatures who could resist an opportunity like that. Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the research task force as soon as I could. Okay. Uh, this probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. Clearly researching the connection between the Pikmin and the whistles they respond to. I have loads of questions yeah. like how many Pikmin can you lead at a time? And will the whistles still work on all your Pikmin if the squad increases? And that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what I want to know. How about we just start out with you? Tell me your squads get bigger and we'll go from there. Okay, what? No way. You already let that many Pikmin. Wow. Okay, so two frolic, four frolic. Alright, simply signs that your ability is taking even more. So I need to get six now. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of side side hoot nannies. But what's the point of my of Pikmin in this area? That I wanna know. I thought maybe you could dig some stuff up, but I guess not. But that's gonna be it for this episode. It's kinda short. I feel like now when we're not doing the exploration and doing nighttime, they're gonna be shorter episodes. But do stick around if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you have already, thank you guys so much for the support. And as always, until the next one, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>